So how are you starting your day today? I have a light, a bottle jack, a hammer, some shims, and I will be going into the pit of despair. So we have black dirt, black sandy dirt, a severe drought. When you go from abundant rain to severe drought, overnight you have shifting dirt, shifting soil, houses that start doing this when they are built in the 1940s and on a pier and beam. This is my new secret squirrel route under the house. Last time I opened this, there was a huge snake right there. It was so funny. Going in places like this, hope you made friends with the monster that lived under your bed when you were a kid, because that is way worse. <laughs> way worse. Okay, guys. Go do your thing. Really don't mind the barn cats going in first, because every time I've gone under, i found uh, some little friends there who you prefer not to encounter when you're working and you don't have a 12 gauge at your side. Good cats. Good barn cats. So yeah, there are people that do this every day for a living and they're much better at it than I am. But I'm not calling someone every time my house shifts a little bit. Um, and nobody loves your house the way you do. Long sleeves, that is everyday attire out here by the way. It's not just going under the house attire. The, uh, the hat, brown recluses, black widows. Lots of both of them under there. I don't want them on my dome and latching on because that's just, it's just bad news. I don't want to deal with that. Here, check this out. Those were steps they built to the outside of the house when it had the original sort of 1940s frame. It was a much smaller house. The addition above us went in about 1970. But it looks great under here. The foundation is great. Bones, good bones. So you can see the handiwork of the experts, right? Hey, uh, I don't know. I just don't want to pay a fortune for somebody to jack this up and throw a couple little wooden shims underneath. Hello, it's a wild lady. This doesn't uh, give me comfort at all. This makes me very uncomfortable. We got this. Yeah. Barn cats, I hope you did your job. My little friends. Hey, kiddo, you there? Okay, so I've got eyes on the uh, the part I told you about. Yeah, those those shims just were absolutely decimated. They were just crushed by the weight. I think that's the whole problem here. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go see what kind of snake Norman has over here. It is, whatever it is, I've seen it striking at him. Oh, please don't be a copperhead. Norman, you got it, dude? Oh, hell, where'd it go? Yeah, that's a copperhead bigger than Dallas. Norman, do not get bit by that copperhead. I am not gonna leave a poisonous snake alive under this house. I'm not in a great place to be able to even deal with this. Barn cat, look out. Hey, hey, no, get out of there. Norman, no. Come here, Norman. Get away from that damn snake. Bad, bad snake. Um. Norman, get, oh, here, come here, Norman. Come here, come here. Norman, come here. Okay. Oh. Okay, got it. Okay, so if you're waiting for the added degree of difficulty, that was it. Good job, Norman the barn cat. I'm keeping you around, you're my friend. So, this is 100% not a video about foundation repair. After the first snake, uh, I got pretty serious about just getting my job done and getting out of it. After the second snake, I was like, okay, yeah, show's over. <laughs> Let's just get this done and go. Yeah, it looks rough, but life's good. What a blessing. Hope you take a minute or two today to keep your gratitude higher than your expectations. I'll do the same. We'll all be okay. We'll see you next time.